In this demonstration, we'll show you how to use the splitter enterprise integration pattern in a camel route. To illustrate the splitter pattern, we consider the following scenario. A bookshop sets up a system for ordering books, which is based on JMS message queues. Book orders are sent to the publisher on the orders queue, and order acknowledgements are received on the order status queue. Recently, the publisher ACMA Books has overhauled its IT infrastructure, so that books must now be ordered through a web service. This poses an integration problem for the bookshop. The asynchronous message queue system must somehow be integrated with the web service. Moreover, while the old system allowed orders to be placed in batches, that is, specifying multiple books in a single order, the new web service allows you to order only one book at a time. This is where the splitter pattern comes in, because it enables you to split a compound order into a series of individual orders. The following diagram shows an outline of the camel route that implements the required integration. After the bookshop pushes a message onto the orders queue, the route pulls the message from the queue and the splitter breaks the message into a sequence of individual orders. Next, each book order is reformatted as a web service request. The request is then sent to the web service using a camel CXF endpoint. Finally, each reply is reformatted as necessary and then pushed onto the order status queue. It turns out, however, that the bookshop owners are not happy with this solution. Every time they send out a batch order, they now receive multiple individual replies. It would be much more convenient to receive a single aggregate reply. So, the bookshop modifies the route by adding an aggregator, which combines the individual replies into a single message. Now, let's take a look at a camel route that implements this scenario. First of all, we create an embedded instance of an active MQ broker, which provides the JMS messaging system for this example. We also need to customize the active MQ component so that it connects to this local embedded broker instance. We create a CXF client endpoint identified by the ID ECMA-Books, which we can then use to invoke operations on the ECMA Books web service. We are now ready to define the route for this scenario. The initial endpoint of the route consumes messages from the book.orders queue. Let's take a quick look at the format of a typical batched order message. The orders element contains a list of book orders, where each book order is represented by an order element. An ISBN number uniquely identifies each book. Returning to the route, we see that the first processing step is to split the list of orders into a sequence of individual orders. The first child element of split is an XPath expression that picks out each order node of the original message. After converting the order node to a string, we send the book order to a velocity script that reformats the message body as a web service request. Let's have a look at that velocity script in the order book request.vm file. In this example, we embed the message body inside the order book element, which is the name of the web service operation. Returning to the route, we are now ready to send the request to the web service using the inout command. The cxf colon bean colon ecma hyphen books URI references the ecma hyphen books cxf client endpoint. In addition, we specify the data format equals payload option on the URI, which enables us to access the request and reply messages in XML format. After receiving the reply from the web service, we use the transform command to extract the return element from the reply message. In the last step of the route, we push the transformed reply onto the book.order status JMS queue which completes the integration. We are now ready to run the route. Right-click on the splitter.xml file and select Run as local camel context. 
switch to the Views perspective and wait for the application to finish starting up. Connect to the running instance using the JMX Explorer. This enables us to view the active MQ endpoints and the route. To start processing, drag a sample message from the file system onto the book.orders queue. We can now view the resulting reply messages by selecting the book.orders status queue and looking at the messages view. The original compound order gives rise to four distinct replies, one for each book that was ordered. It would be more convenient, however, if the individual replies were aggregated into a single compound reply to match the original compound order. For this, we need to add an aggregator to the route. Shut down the route and change back to the Java perspective. For the aggregator, we need a custom strategy, which is implemented as a Java class. In this example, the custom strategy is implemented by the status response egg strategy class. The strategy is implemented by the aggregate method and the key step is where the message body is aggregated by a concatenating each reply body, separated by a new line character. Each reply is also transformed by renaming the return element to item status. We are now ready to add the aggregator to the route. First of all, use the spring bean element to create an instance of the custom strategy, status response egg strategy. Next, associate the custom aggregation strategy with the splitter by setting the strategy ref attribute on the split element. We now need to move the final endpoint outside the split element because we want to send the message to the book.order status queue after aggregation has occurred. We also use a transform to enclose the aggregated replies in a single order status element, which represents the compound reply. Now, let's run the modified route. Right-click on the splitter.xml file and select Run as Local Camel Context. To start processing with a modified route, drag the sample message onto the book.orders queue. To view the resulting aggregate reply, select the book.order status queue and look at the messages view. As you can see, the queue now contains a single aggregate reply.